the sea pig, a cucumber, a muddy boy, and a baby crab guardian. Let's critique this free. Today's creature is the sea pig. There are a couple species of sea pigs, but the most famous one is Scotoplanes globosa. I gotta say, these animals are named perfectly. Sea piggies have a slight pinky tone to them and muck around on the deep, deep sea floors across the globe feasting on detritus. Detritus is another way of saying decaying organic matter, which is another way of saying dead things or poop. They eat using their ten tentacles to find tasty little particles in the mud and bring it to their mouths. What's really weird is they appear to use their tentacles in pairs and alternate between the pairs. Do you see his little tic-tac legs? These appendages are called tube feet, which sea pigs can pump water in and out of to inflate or deflate to move around. The long tubes sprout from the back are also tube feet. Sea pigs are a type of sea cucumber. While most sea cucumbers have tube feet, the sea pigs are a little special in that his are a lot longer and actually prop his little plump micro waved hot dog body off the floor. And because his rock and bod, which is about six inches long by the way, is full of water at a certain pressure, removing a sea pig from the depths will cause him to melt and subsequently perish. Now, sea pigs are sea cucumbers, and I don't want to spread rumors, but sea piggies might have the ability to breathe out of their anus, or for the common folk, the butthole. <laughs> that aside, a puzzling aspect of these pigs is their nonchalance around baby crabs crawling all over them. Baby crabs just adore sea pigs, and it is believed that they use them as hiding places from predators, and the sea pigs don't really seem to mind their presence, so that's cool. They think baby crabs use them because there ain't a whole lot on the deep ocean floor, and and sea pigs are apparently abundant, like it's common to see tons of them together or spread out everywhere just eating mud with their pals. Today's creature, the sea pig, gets an 8 out of 10. With a score of 8, the sea pig takes second place overall in the aquatic scoreboard. The more I watch them root around, the cuter I think they are, but man, if they aren't kind of slightly boring and slow. They are basically just recyclers for the ecosystem and crab babysitters, but hey, somebody's gotta eat the dead things and raise the kids, so thank goodness for sea pigs. See you later, stinkies!